Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my budget in my daily planner. So um, you guys have seen this planner like um, probably a couple times but I'm just going to show you real quick. So I have this sidebar that I put in myself because it's just like really helpful and I actually do the budgeting on the back of here. And then every um, one of these post-it notes I put on the days are when I actually spent money and I put like what I spent money on. And I also started this recently. I put like no spend and I highlighted in green just so I know if I spent money or not because if I left it like blank then I would like have to think back and be like oh, did I spend money or not. And it's just easier for me to like transfer this to my monthly one too. So. What I do first is I take out this insert. First of all, can we just appreciate how beautiful this color combo is? Um, I don't think this came together. I forgot where I actually got this purple one from, but I did buy the dotted um, washi like separately. So, um, okay. So I took out this insert for the sidebar and then I'm just gonna take out each post-it. I already know I went a little over budget on food. It's crazy, right? Only $30 and I went over budget. Okay, move this aside. Now I'm just gonna lay out my post-its. So just in like the date order, just to make it easier on myself. Okay, now flip over to the back side of the sidebar. And I'm just going to take a black one and a purple one. I did this last week too, I think. Yep, okay, but I'm just going to write the dates in black and then everything else in purple. So here's how I do it. I start and I put Monday. I track all the days. Oh, this is 0 0.5. Okay, that's fine. Um, I don't really like the 0 0.5. Hold on, we're going to have to switch it. Okay, so uh, Monday, and then I didn't spend anything, so then I just put none. I know I probably don't need to do this, but I've been doing this for so long. It's just kind of repetitive to me, or what is it? Like habitual. It's, it's a habit for me now. Then I move on to Tuesday, and Tuesday I did spend money. Um, let me just move these down a little bit so you guys can see. Okay. So you did spend money in on Tuesday and I spent it on boba. So, oh, I forgot. I need my stickers. I just started um, using these stickers like last week, so I totally forgot. Um, but this is just my credit card, so um, they're kind of customizable colors. I did this yellow is my credit card, red is my debit card, and then cash is cash. So um, it's not up in my shop or anything, but if I have like a demand for it, I'll probably like put it up. Um, I'm just not sure about it right now. So for this day, I did cash. I'm just going to take out a little dollar bill. And I'm just going to put it on top like this. And then use my purple and put how much it costs. It costs $5.23. And then I just put like a little bullet and I write down what I spent it on. So I spent it on boba. Okay, goodbye. And then next, move on to the next day, which is Wednesday. And again, I spent cash, and I know I bought a bagel because my bagel is always $2.79. Um, but I just put it as food because I don't need to write every little detail. And then Thursday, I didn't spend anything. Friday, I spent the most. The most. Um, okay, so let me put Friday... Okay, I was going to be like, oh, I forgot a day, but Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's just because I barely spent anything. So it's like super short. Usually before I budgeted, I'd be like all the way down here. And I had to get another sidebar because I couldn't fit everything into one page. Like, oh goodness.
this, you guys. Um, okay. So, I spent cash and my debit card. So, I'll show you how I did that. As you can see, most of the things that I buy are just food. And the reason why I use two different colors is just so it's easier for me to see. Because then I know that the purple is all the information in here. And then the black is just like stuff I don't really need to know, you know? So in this, in my little post-it note, I wrote food two separate times because I bought a bagel in the morning. And then in the afternoon is when I bought these boba and this food together. So I kind of just wrote everything out like by price. So it's like easier for when I write it in here. So um, since my two categories in here is food and boba and boba is one of the categories I have to keep track of because I overspend in that. Um, I write down the amount just so it's easier to keep track of and I wrote it in a different color so I don't get confused with this number. You know like I don't think like oh I have to add it kind of thing because this is like a side note kind of. I hope I'm explaining this right. I always say that but it makes sense to me because I know what's, what I'm doing, but I feel like when I explain it to somebody else, I like I hope that they know what I'm just trying to say. So I'm taking a red card for my debit card, and um, it's going to be for my food. So I put down 11.93, and it was kind of like a date night kind of food. So that's why. And then um, I'm just going to put, because I did, um, he paid me back for the lunch even though I told him that I was going to pay for our little lunch date, but he paid me back. So I'm just going to put that down as like um, an extra. So I'll probably just put it in, in purple and I'll put like plus 20. And then I write in from who, and I'm just going to bubble it, just so I know. Okay, and then Saturday and Sunday is nothing. I didn't spend anything. I should just put weekends if I don't spend all the weekends, but that's fine. Okay, so now I just break everything down by the categories of what I spent. So I spent cash and debit card this week. And I will do that in a purple. So it's going to be cash. And the reason why I use the stickers is because it makes it like a million times easier. Because then I just see like the stickers, like these are the numbers that I'm supposed to count up. And it's just like easier to find. And then for my debit card, I just abbreviated DB. And that I only spent 11.93. I keep reading it backwards, like the cent sign, I don't know why. Okay, so then I add these two up. Okay, and then I take my little to-go pouch, and these are all my stickers in here that I make. And I'm just going to take a silver one because I don't have any purples. And then I put total spent. So I put total spent on a little quarter box, and it was... 34.97 and that's just food i kind of went a little bit overboard but again like i said he did pay me back so technically i was i'm within my budget and then i always get my little once more with love sticker i take an emoji or not a emoji little munchkin emoji you know the faces and there you go uh, i'm gonna put kind of like an angry face because that is kind of a lot in a week and then i use these little munchkin flags to see how much i like percent i used um compared to the amount that i worked so i just do it for the week i know it's, it's just kind of like a little extra but that's just what I do to kind of make myself see. 
like percentage wise how much I spent. So I spent 34% um, and it's just for the week. So um, say like I worked from Monday through Sunday and I worked on Sunday and Saturday, right? Then I will calculate how much I made, like an estimate calculate of how much I made. And then I'll divide this by how much I'm supposed to get from the times that I worked. And then that's how I get this percentage. Again, it's not really like necessary, but I do like to go that extra mile just to check. And yeah, so that's basically it. And then I'm done and I put it back into my um, planner. Then I basically use this in my um, Deluxe Monthly too. You'll see me like take it out and use it as reference if you've watched one of my previous videos um, and I'll probably have some like just pop up in the little time cards up here um, and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it, um, you guys found it helpful if you have this kind of sort of setup so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it give me a thumbs up if you do and I'll see you next time bye